Hey guys, this is Nathan, and welcome to the Gaming 4. Today, I've got a special video for you guys. Um, it is about the Unturned Map Editor, but what makes it special is because it was requested by one of you guys, uh, specifically Martin Martian Films. So yeah, thank you Martin for uh, your input on what you want to see videos about. But he requested today to have a video about how to place underground objects. Specifically, he mentioned the uh, underground bunker and some of the underground tunnels. So yeah, you guys, you, you can place these objects. This is the bunker. If you guys didn't know, it's got a very extensive underground section to it with uh, two floors. And yeah, today I'll be showing you guys how to place that underground as well as tunnels underground as well. So yeah, you can place these above ground, but if you guys see this yellow area, I don't think I've mentioned this in my tutorials before, but if this yellow area is invisible to the player so if you're right here walking around even though this is impossible this will be invisible to you so it'll look like you can go right through it and I think you probably can you can sort of glitch inside the objects but yeah let's get to it cuz uh, yeah this might take a little while so guys placing these objects actually has a lot to do with um, the heights okay and you may not get it quite yet, but, I mean, you'll see. So, if you want to place down this bunker, you can see it's roughly the same size. I'm going to have to make it a little bigger. But you actually first have to make a hole. Okay? And it's better that this hole is really deep. Okay? Because it, it really just has to be deep. So, then you're going to place this bunker in this hole. <laughs> And guys, as you're watching this, you're probably seeing now that, yeah, you can't, you actually have to make a hole. And that's why um, they have this area right here, this big platform around it. So, yeah. Now, I made the hole too big, but that's okay, because I'm going to be able to fill in around it. I'm just going to have to do it more carefully. And I need to customize the size just a little bigger. Okay, now the best thing to do this with is either the flatten tool where you gotta customize your own height which I'm gonna try that first but if that doesn't work because it can get kinda touchy you can always use the uh, lower or raise tools the thing about those is they're kind of um, they're not as smooth so if you want a smooth transition from your ground to the platform it won't be as great for that Let's see three is too big two is too small so I'll go 2.2 close very close 2.1 2.15 uh, what the dang it why did it change to 1.5 point two one five there we go and I think I think that's the height and you know worst comes to worst we can just lower it down just a little bit and it won't be a problem so what you want to do is once you get it in the spot that you're gonna eventually put it you're gonna want to smooth out the ground depending on how you want it I mean you can make hills come up underneath and through it if you want I mean you don't have to but this way probably looks the best and so what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to bring up these hills right here up enough so that they cover this gap but don't start cutting into this underground area and as you can see over here it's pretty pretty good these edges are going to need some touching up and it's kinda hard to do this because the ground isn't um, you kinda have to do it in big chunks as you see they're, they're not doing it in nice small sections so you do have to do it in large chunks but if you do it correctly as you see I'm not cutting into 
any of the building. So right now, from the top, I mean, it looks kind of crappy. So I can fix that up. See what's happening with this corner. Okay, the corner is overlapping. So what you want to do now is once you've got it generally in there, if you want to make it flush with the ground or flat, you can just raise it up or down just a little bit. And now, guys, as you see, I mean, there really is not much. There's like a tiny bit of difference under there. And guys, the inside will have no ground cutting through it or anything. So this is this is pretty much perfect. So that is the preferred way to place these um, these bunkers. <laughs> and as I said before, you can make it so that a hill's cutting through the section if you want, or whatever. You just have to be careful not to cut into this underground area right there. Okay, now for these um, tunnels. And they work on essentially the same principle. You you really have to bury them underground. There's just one extra step in order to cover them up. <laughs> so let's say I want to have a tunnel going right through here. Perfect. Okay. Now I'm not going to place the tunnel through the whole section because that would take... Well, it wouldn't take that long, but... You know, I want to keep this video pretty short for you guys. So, I got this tunnel. I'm going to need to position it where I want it to come through. You know what? Let's do it on this side. It's a little cleaner. Okay. Now, the problem with this is that there's two types of tunnels. There's a tunnel line cap and a tunnel line. Now, the tunnel line cap has this end where it's uh, filled in. And that's generally supposed to be on the outside. But you can line them up on the inside if you want. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy and paste. I'm going to use the snap tool just to line up the edges very nicely. And get a good good section of pipe there. So on the inside, you know, you, you can tell a little bit. I mean, you can tell that there are different sections, but you can't get it any smoother than that. But yeah, we got a tunnel under here, right? So, now comes the problem. Well, it's uncovered. So now we have to cover it up. Now we can initially cover it up by uh, doing the same strategy that we did with uh, that bunker there. We're just going to have to raise up the land. But we're not going to be able to cover it up all the way. So for now, I'm just going to raise up the land. And this is also touchy as well. I mean, you're going to try not to cut into the cave much. And as you can see right there, thankfully they've made these walls thick enough. So it isn't, it's cutting into the cave a little bit at the bottom, but it's not like coming through it a lot. So that's pretty nice. I, I didn't think it would work that well. Oh, see that, I messed up there. As you can see, it's cutting through the cave a lot more than it needs to but you know we can work with that actually that can just be part of the styling of the cave because at the end we can have it so that it's filled in with rubble or something like it's sort of caved in so you know we'll just cover up that the end we will make it look like it's caved in okay so yeah it's definitely caved in and this doesn't look that bad guys there's a little bit of uh, grass through here but this next part will show you how to cover up the top and you know you can possibly use it to give yourself more room to do the sides a little better so what you're going to need to look for is grass and there's now two types of grasses there's this one and there's that one this one is really small I wouldn't suggest using it for any type of large area because it's just it's it's too small Okay, now as you can see, this is pretty much made for this, guys. I've not used this before in one of my custom maps, but uh, it's used in PEI. They may have done. I think they used it. They used it really well, so it's kind of hard to tell that they even use something like this. But essentially, you just move it till it's roughly on the top, and you raise it down so it cuts into the ground a little bit. And, yeah, I'm going to need to raise it down just a little more. Move it down, not raise it down. What the heck? 
am I talking about? So there we go. All sides are under. So from the top, I mean, it looks different. And it. I mean, this is the only way to do it, guys. So you have to do it this way. It looks different, but it's... I mean, it's better than just having the pipe uncovered. And pretty much you just copy and paste it. Move it over. If you don't want it... If you want it smoother, you can... You know, make them go into each other a little bit. And if you want some variation, you can rotate it. So it stops looking the same all the time. And pretty much you just cover up the rest of those holes. Ah, <laughs> oh, see, this one needs to go down more as well. And so, yeah, I mean, that's that's essentially how you do it. So that's how you cover the top for sure. And it looks kind of bad, but I mean if you have trees and stuff around it, you can blend it in pretty well. Now this opening here, this looks really bad. I mean, we can't leave that there. So there's a way you can fix that. Uh I thought there's a way you f I know you can fix that. Um I was thinking it would be rocks, but it's not rocks. It's is it boulders? Yeah, it's boulders. So there's types of boulders here, like this, that you can actually just um, place in there as sort of a cover for that crack that you've created. And this one, may it's probably too big unless you don't mind it sticking up at the top. I mean, that doesn't look very bad. It's not the greatest, though. Uh, dang it, what the heck? There's smaller boulders here. They're connected, which is kind of kind of too bad. I kind of wish they had a bunch of smaller ones by themselves. So you could place these around the entrance. The nice thing about this pipe is it's really wide so that you know the boulder can be partially in it, but it won't be showing on the inside. So yeah, you could potentially do that. You know, copy paste and just make a big boulder wall that's like blocking this area in. Um, let's see what the third boulder's like. If it's any dang it, that's not what I Okay, that's what? Boulder and three and oh, okay. So yeah, this is the third no, this is the second boulder. This is actually a sheet of boulder that is exactly like the grass. So yeah. I mean, essentially with all those tools, it'll take more time than I'm willing to put into it right now for this video. But guys, if you want to, like, seal that up, I mean, you definitely have enough tools to do that. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. So, thank you guys for watching this video. Um, if you liked it, please hit the like button. Um, if you really enjoyed it and you want to see some more or you want to request your own, please hit the subscribe button. That would be very much appreciated as our channel's, you know, just still starting up and, you know, we appreciate the support. And, yeah, so thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys later.